Welcome to the Freedom Project podcast. The Freedom Project exists to make freedom in Christ known to each and every person we can reach and to encourage and dialogue with those who have already found freedom in Christ. Your host is Joe Weaver. Hello friends, Joe Weaver here from the Freedom Project. I want to start off today reading you a psalm, one of my favorite psalms. It's Psalm 150. It reads, Praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty firmament, praise Him for His mighty deeds, praise Him according to His surpassing greatness, praise Him with trumpet sound, praise Him with lute and harp, praise Him with tambourine and dance, praise Him with strings and pipe, praise Him with clanging cymbals, praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. I love that line, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Thanks for coming in today. We're speaking today with Brooke Nichols. I chose that psalm because Brooke Nichols has such a heart for worship, and I I think of that psalm every time I see her praise the Lord. For those of you who don't know Brooke, she's an award-winning musician. She's a wonderful worship leader, a brand new mom, and she has a great deal to share with us. So join me now as we speak with Brooke. Today, folks, we're here with uh, Brooke Nichols today, all the way from Hamilton, I believe. Is that correct, Brooke? I actually moved to Oshawa. Oh, in Oshawa. Uh, Brooke, thanks so much for joining us today, taking time out of your schedule to uh, sit and chat with us a bit today. Uh, Why don't you start off by just telling us a little bit about uh, your life today, what it looks like, what you're doing during uh, COVID breakdown, your family situation. Yeah, yeah, well... First of all, thanks for having me. Such an honor to be with you. And um, yeah, I mean, before COVID hit, we were touring full time uh, across the country. It was super fun. And then COVID hit and that all came um, to a big old stop. So now um, Steve and I actually created uh, at the beginning of the pandemic last year, it actually just turned one year old. Um, We created an online resource called Worship Online. And it's a free, uh, we created 35 sets of worship and it's free for all churches to use on their Sunday mornings. You know, uh, one of the things we saw as we traveled, excuse me, when we traveled across Canada was that there's so many churches that don't have the resources to, um, you know, to do online church. It's, It's hard. It's a big deal. And so we wanted to be able to um, make it easier for the church and just like partner with them and love them through this pandemic because this pandemic is crazy and it's hard. It is hard. Yeah. I know I've been watching you on Sunday mornings. Uh, the We broadcast out of Vanier, Ontario from the uh, community, Vanier Community Bikers Church, and, and they're now part of your worship Sunday morning. So that's always oh. a joy for me to get a chance to uh, see you. Um, I've always been a fan since I first saw you uh, perform, uh, and I just want to give a little plug for our Freedom Fest Festival, which is scheduled for August 14th and 15th this year. Brooke is uh, right now committed to perform at the festival for us. If that goes ahead, we want you all to keep praying for that. We got our fingers crossed. So, Brooke. Uh, give us a little bit of an idea of, of where you come from. Did you grow up in a Christian environment? Were you always uh, involved in the church? That kind of thing. I did. I grew up in a small town called Chatham, um, which is uh, about four hours west of here. And I grew up in a Pentecostal church, uh, always knew Jesus, grew up in a home that just, you know, always, always preached the word of God and always pointed me to Jesus. Um, you know, the, the truth is, though, is, you know, like when you grow up in an environment like that, sometimes it's not always your own decision to follow Jesus. Um, and it wasn't until later on in life that I kind of, uh, that I, I understood what it meant to follow the Lord and to lay my life down for Him. And so it took uh, a number of years. I mean, I grew up, I would say, a Christian, but it wasn't until my early 20s where Jesus kind of moved from somebody Sorry, he moved from something that I knew to somebody that I knew. And um, yeah, I mean, and that was many, many years ago, but um, I am very thankful for the Christian uh, upbringing because, I mean, it, it, it laid that foundation for me. Right. Some seeds were planted, but it's so important for us to take that step 
into relationship is like I hear you saying, and that is really what, where we find our freedom in Christ. You know, we like to uh, talk to people about how freedom has manifested the, itself in the lives, freedom in Christ in their lives as they moved in their relationship and they grew in the Lord. So for you, um, what does that freedom look like for you in your life as, as you live today? Well, I mean, we all have things in our lives that we wish that we, you know, didn't have. <laughs> we all have done things, said things, seen things, gone places, whatever. And I'm so thankful for um, a God who forgives us and loves us unconditionally, no matter uh, where we've been or what we've done. And so, you know, I just like daily enter into that, like, forgiveness and daily enter into that unconditional love because that's freedom. Um, our freedom comes through Christ. And so we don't have to walk in shame or, um, you know, be embarrassed of like who we once were because God isn't embarrassed of us. And he gives us like this chance day after day after day. The, the Bible says his mercies are new every morning. Mm -hmm. Great is your Amen. faithfulness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I really, uh, I really feel that um, connection that you have uh, with the Lord as we can all when we enter into that relationship but it's something that really uh, is is apparent when you perform and when you sing it almost seems to me as though uh, um, you are just so completely committed to that moment of fellowship with the Lord it really comes across on uh, the camera so well and in your music um, has that been something that you've felt has always been in your life or is that something that's growing as you're walking further in freedom with the Lord? It's definitely growing um, for sure. I mean, I, I do think it's always been there. I've always been truthfully like crazy about the Lord. And, uh, you know, as I began to dive into the word and to dive into who Jesus is in my own life, um, yeah, that has definitely grown. And so what you see, thanks for saying that, by the way, because what you see is so is so genuine. It's so, you know, and, and that's, that's why I love, like my burn is to see people set free through Christ. And I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen it uh, when I've been leading worship, people entering into this place, like the Holy of Holies and just becoming set free in his presence. And so that's why, um, that is what, that is why I lead worship. That is why I love doing what I do. Yeah. That's a, that's a, a really good way, uh, to put it, uh, I know that the music business is a business. Even Christian music is a Christian music business. Uh, and I know that uh, to become successful in that, you've been nominated for Junos and you've, you've received lots of other awards. But I think I see in you uh, that uh, genuine feeling that, of connection with the Lord when you perform. Is it difficult sometimes for you to separate your worship uh, journey from your actual business journey? Um, you know, it's actually not. One of the verses that um, that I always cling to is that like the Lord will open doors that no man can shut. And so uh, you're right. It is that there is a business side of it, but I believe that the, 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 the more that I stay connected to the Lord and just walk in my calling and do what he's called me to do, he will open those doors that no man can shut. And so um, we don't stress about the business side of things. Um, I'm thankful for a husband who's, I mean, I, I'm not the most business savvy person, but Steve, my husband, he is, so he takes care of all of that. Uh, and it's really cool to watch um, just how the Lord provides and opens doors. And like, yeah, I think, you know, the Bible says that you can't serve two masters, right? You can't right. serve... Uh, you can't love him and love money. And although we need money to live and to pay our bills and to eat, um, yeah, there's just a fine line of just like, like I said, being authentic to the call that God has placed in our lives and um, treading lightly on the business side of things. He always, always provides, Joe, always provides. There's not a day that goes by where like we don't see his hand in our life in that way. We have uh, such a great father and, and in every way. And that's one of the things at uh, the Freedom Project, we really want people to understand that the freedom that we get 
goes so far beyond a secular freedom that can be given, and it's a freedom that can't be mandated for us. Uh, and it just, it, it, it manifests itself in our lives, and he will always take care of us. So it's, so, it's great to know that, uh, that you are moving forward in that calling. I believe we all have a purpose. Um, do you see, uh, where do you see yourself going in this purpose that the Lord has for you right now as far as ministry goes? Well, I do, I have, I love the Canadian church. I love it so much. Uh, there's not a person that I've met that like, I just don't feel crazy about. And I can't wait to get back to touring, to be honest with you, uh, to play festivals, you know, just to like be in a space where I can cultivate this, like uh, this, this, this mo these moments where like the presence of God is so tangible where people can, you know, come into relationship with him or meet him or find freedom through him. And, you know, I'm trying to do that now online, but I I'm really excited for uh, touring again. And I have a, a new daughter. Um, her name is Shiloh and I'm excited. Uh, you know, yesterday, Steve and I were rehearsing for an online thing we're doing. We we're worshiping and she just sat there. And she just like watched us. And I just knew that the Holy Spirit was moving even in her little tiny life. And I feel so excited to be able to bring her on the road with us and like, you know, lead worship across Canada again. Yeah, that's going to be a great time. Uh, we're going to take a, a short break. And uh, when we come back, we're going to continue talking uh, with Brooke Nichols. And stay with us, please. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Almost overnight. Our world has changed. The way we gather, the way we work, the way we worship, the way we connect with family and friends. This crisis may have changed how we do what we do, but it has not changed who we are. And now the world needs us, all of us, to stand together. So we are calling on you, the artists, the adventurers, the motivators, the entrepreneurs, the heartbeat of our ministry. We are calling on you, wherever you are, whatever you do. Because building a better world is going to take everyone. And when we fight together, just imagine what we can do. I'm back with uh, Brooke Nichols. We're talking about uh, the way the Lord's set her free and the way that uh, uh, the gifts of the Lord are manifest in her life. And she mentioned she has a new little daughter named Shiloh, who's adorable, by the way. I saw Facebook pictures when she was born. And I look forward to uh, possibly meeting her sometime. Uh, when you get talking about touring again, uh, have you, how does that look for you now that you are uh, more than just you and Steve, you have a little family? <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's something I've dreamt about for a long time. And I mean, now I'm living it. So it looks uh, and feels so different than just when I was dreaming about it. But um, we will have help, which will be uh, very helpful. You know, Steve's mom, um, Shiloh's Oma, has said that she would come on the road with us and, you know, take care of Shiloh while we continue to lead worship and do what we need to do. Um, I think one of the things that became really clear when I got pregnant was I felt um, a lot of anxiety over, you know, obviously we were in the middle of COVID, so that's a whole other thing, but I felt the anxiety of, um, Lord, will I still be able to do the thing that you've called me to do? And the Lord so very clearly said to me, I will make a way. And so, you know, I'm still, uh, I'm still clinging to that word, to that truth and to that promise uh, of the Lord making a way. So I don't know what touring will look like exactly, but I'm actually pretty excited for it. Yeah, you're probably going to need a bigger bus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, anybody have a bus out there? <laughs> uh, that's such an encouragement for any uh, young mothers that might be listening or for anybody, really, because lots of times um, we may feel the purpose the Lord has for us is is uh, being, uh, there's been obstacles put in the way and, and stumbling blocks are something the Bible tells us there will be stumbling blocks in the world, 
but woe to those who put them there. And the Lord God will remove those if he has a purpose for us. And I believe that uh, he will show a way for you and, uh, and, and that moving forward, it's just going to be con continue to be a, a good time for you touring and whatnot. Have you got some things lined up that you want to talk about? Have you got any albums coming out, anything like that? Yeah, actually, I have a, 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 I'm working on a brand new album right now. Uh, the three of us, Shiloh, Steve, and I went into the studio about two weeks ago, the first time, and it just felt, oh my word, it felt so, um, oh, so life-giving just to be back in the studio, uh, laying down these new songs, and yeah, just, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited for this. I mean, I haven't recorded a record since 2019, mm. and so I haven't put out a record since 2019, so I'm just, yeah, I'm very excited for for this next record to come rolling out. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Um, how, are you, how are you marketing that when it, when it gets out and going? Is, are you doing that through your own website and whatnot? And do you have that yeah. information? Yeah, that'll be on my Facebook, my Instagram, my website. Um, you know, uh, I'm always pretty active on my social medias. So, uh, you know, when it comes out, I'll make sure I let people know. Right. Um, do you have a, a, a life scripture that's something that's spoken to you? Maybe all scripture is great and stands out for each of us, but sometimes we have a scripture that really attaches itself to us and mm -hmm. speaks into our lives. Is there something like that that, uh, that that has sort of been a guide for you? Well, actually, uh, <laughs> as you ask this question, I have this Bible verse that just popped into my head that was one of the first Bible verses that I actually ever memorized as a little girl. I used to listen to these tapes called Adventures in Odyssey. Um, I don't know if you know or remember them, but uh, they're like Bible stories for young kids. And this Bible verse that stuck with me and it still sticks with me is do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will hold you and I will help you. And I just like that verse, like, forever will like ring true in my life. Like, it's just this reminder that like, I don't have to be afraid of what the future holds, even here in COVID now in COVID um, now with a new baby, uh, you know, all these things that we walk through in our lives are so easy, easily they can take us out, but it's this reminder that like, I actually don't have to be afraid because I know who, who's with me always. Yeah. And, and the Bible tells me that he will like uphold me and help me and be with me. Never leave or forsake you. Uh, it's a shadow at our right hand. There's so many promises that that uh, continue to encourage us and build us up. And I, I really like what you said because we are Christians and we are walking in freedom, but we still are susceptible to the things in the world. But when we know that we have that cover on us, uh, it just helps us in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, you mentioned, Brooke, earlier that you guys are doing uh, worship for churches across Canada. Is, are you doing that in conjunction with any organization or is that something you're doing on your own? How does that look for you guys? Yeah, actually, so we've partnered with Compassion Canada. They've just come alongside us so that we can offer it for free to all churches mm. across the world. Um, and, uh, you know, they've done it. The thing I love about what how Compassion Canada has come up alongside us is that there's no like strings attached. Mm. They just love the local church as much as we do. And they were like, let's do this. Let's give this free resource to the church and let's just bless them in this time. It's a hard time for everybody. And they said, like, if we can help, uh, you know, if we can help, like, that's what we're here for. So, um, yeah, Compassion Canada has come alongside us and we're just like blown away and so thankful for them. That's an amazing thing. And it's another uh, uh, great encouragement to the body of Christ to see the the body of Christ incorporation uh, lifting us up and in and, and, and this time of need. And we will put up uh, some information on our website and also on this broadcast for Compassion Canada. Do you have a uh, website that you wanted to uh, throw out there for people if they wanted to contact you? Oh yeah, it's brooknichols.ca. So all my music is on there. Um, my worship online resource is on there. I wrote, um, actually wrote a book and put it out during this pandemic and that's on there. So lots of stuff. So brooknichols.ca, go there folks and you can see uh, 
uh, all of the things that are going on with Brooke. And hopefully there will be a schedule coming up at some point of touring dates in the future. And hopefully uh, August uh, 14th and 15th will be up there for Freedom Fest in Perth, Ontario. There's a cheap and shameless plug. Uh, please come and visit us in the summer if we can go ahead. Um, if there was anything that you wanted to leave with the people today, any uh, thought of encouragement or uh, uh, insight into uh, the way you get through your day-to-day -day life, what would you like to leave with our viewers today? Yeah, I think what you said before is uh, even though you know we're Christians and we're followers of Jesus, that doesn't make us... Um, you know, we're still susceptible to the, the trials of the world. We are. Um, we're still, we know we still experience pain and heartache and loss and all the things that everybody else um, faces and deals with. But uh, we have such hope in who Jesus is because he promises us to be with us in all those trials. He promises to draw near and to take care of us in our pain and our heartache and in our loss. And so that's one thing that like um, I have experienced firsthand, especially in this last year when I got pregnant, I, I, I actually experienced some like deep depression and, um, uh, and then in the middle of it also, like I lost my job, we're in the middle of a global pandemic and like, I didn't know what hit me. And I can firsthand say that like the Lord was so close to me in that time mm. that I, I just knew that I knew that I knew that God was who he says he is, who, who and who is he? He's faithful. He's provider. He's our supply. He's unconditional love. He's close to us. He's all of those things. And so, yeah, I just want to encourage uh, listeners today, just to remind you that like, you're not alone. And the God of great love is like so close to you at every moment. And so we have this invitation to draw near to that and to like enter into that closeness with him. And so I hope that that's encouraging uh, to somebody today. It absolutely is, you know, to know that the God of creation will take time to, to sit beside us uh, and be in the boat with us as we go through the storms. And life is such a, an encouragement. Uh, and, you know, I, I just wanted to uh, add to that. You know, if you're out there today and you want to know what it's like to feel this freedom that we have in Christ, it's just so easy. There's no ritual involved in that. There's, there's nothing that you have to do except call out to him, you know, uh, admit to him. The, that we're sinners and that you uh, want to repent, which just is a fancy way of saying you want to change the way you live. And he will come to you where you are and he'll seek you out and, and you will enter into this freedom that we have in Christ and you will be able to understand what Brooke means when she talks about going through these hard parts in her life. You know, our lives aren't going to get perfect, but our lives are going to be blessed by the Lord God and that's such a great thing and I encourage you as as Brooke does today to just reach out and make that decision for the Lord because what what are you waiting for you know this is as good a time as any and we're just so happy to be able to come to you with these stories of freedom that we all share uh, Brooke you know uh, it's it's just wonderful to uh, be able to spend some time with you um, uh, I know that uh, you're such a wonderful worship leader, and I, as I said earlier, I really appreciate and, and enjoy the gift that you have. And uh, thanks so much for spending this time with us, and i uh, just like to give you a chance to say goodbye to our listeners out there, and, uh, and, uh, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, well, thanks so much for uh, having me. It was such a joy to chat with Joe. And, uh, Thanks to all the listeners uh, for, for listening today. I hope that you feel encouraged and um, I can't wait when this pandemic is over. I can't wait to be with you all in the same space, whether that's indoors or outdoors, just worshiping together. Amen. So thank you again, Brooke, for joining us. We want to uh, congratulate you on your upcoming album. Uh, thank you, uh, Steve, for being in touch with us as well. And congratulations on uh, Shiloh, your new baby. It's uh, wonderful to uh, see that family of Christ growing at a regular basis. And uh, for all you folks out there, we just want to thank you for joining us at the Freedom Project. We want to thank you for being 
part of this, this journey with us, journeying with us in freedom, in Christ. And we encourage you to uh, contact us, to let us know about your freedom stories, to uh, let us know if you have any prayer requests. And we also ask you just to please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us, comment, and stick with us next week. And always remember our scripture, John 8, 36, if the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Joe Weber. This has been The Freedom Project with Brooke Nichols. We'll see you again next week with another great guest.